Hey everyone, Matheus Castello here and today I want to show to you how it is easy to install and configure the Horizon IDE extension for Visual Studio Code for Windows, using Windows machines, okay? So if you want to know more, stay with me. Okay, so I have here a brand new installation of Windows, right? Is to Windows 11, right? Brand new installation, nothing configured, nothing installed, right? I have only the Visual Studio Code already installed here, but uh, there is no extensions already installed and nothing configured, right? It's only, it's a brand new installation of Visual Studio Code, all right? Because I want to show to you guys how it's easy now to you install and configure out the development environment for Torise, right? Because before you had to first uh, configure the Windows subsystem for Linux on your machine, right? Then download and install a Linux distribution for the WSL, um, set it as default, configure it, and then at the end install the Horizon ID extension uh, on this Linux distribution. But now it's much more easy. You can go directly on the extensions using the Visual Studio Code from uh, the Windows side, right? You can go here on Horizon IED extension, install it. You can see that now is available for Windows. And when it installs, shows here the Horizon icon. Let's click it. And then shows for you the new Horizon ID installation wizard for Windows. So this is a wizard that you guide you to all the steps that you have uh, to verify and configure to have your Horizon uh, development environment ready. Okay, so this is the new feature uh, from the Windows side to help, right? So I want to pass through all the steps here together with you, right? So let's go on the first step, the configuration verification. So uh, the system verification checks if the system is ready and then you check for PowerShell script execution uh, enable it the WSL2 if WSL2 is installed if not the um, wizard itself you uh, configure and install for you so let's go let's go on the first step for the verification the only thing that you had to do is click on verify uh, yeah, here is telling us that some user account control windows can appear and we have to accept it, right? So click verify. Okay, user account control. Yes, let's accept. Nice. System verification done. So this system verification um, do not get the WSL installed, right? So. Um, we don't have the WSL installed, we need to install it, right? The Ryzen ID extension for Visual Studio Code requires Windows Subsystem for Linux. And what I have to do to install the Horizon or the, to install the Windows Subsystem for Linux? Click install, right? The wizard itself, you run a PowerShell script, let's accept, installing virtual machine platform, okay. Yes, and installing Windows Subsystem for Linux. All right. So, yeah, at the end, this will restart our machine. Okay, restarting. Updates are underway. So let's wait for the updates and everything, the features will be enabled by the Windows. Let's wait. Okay, so we are ready. Back to the login. So now our Windows Subsystem for Linux should be configured. What we have to do is open Visual Studio Code again. All right, then click on the Horizon icon. This will open again the Horizon ID installation wizard for Windows. We will have to pass again for the steps because now 
the system verification, you check if the WSL was installed uh, correctly, right? Let's run verify again. Accept. Checking. Oh, okay, so nice. We have the system verification done and the WSL installed. So our WSL is configured. Next step is to install the Horizon for WSL2, right? Um, the Horizon development environment for WSL2 is a custom distribution for WSL2 that is optimized for Horizon development, right? Is a Linux distribution based on the Debian bookworm, right? And already have all uh, the configurations and packages that you need to have the Horizon ID extension working um, correctly on your development environment, right? What I need to do to install it, click on install. So installing. So first this will download. Let me apply some zoom here, okay. First this will download the image, nice. Now it's decompressing the image and you install for us the Horizon development environment. Let's wait. Okay, so nice, right? Very easy. Now I have the system verified, the WSL installed and the Linux distribution, the Horizon uh, development environment for WSL2 installed. Next step is to configure this Horizon for WSL2 because I need to put some credentials, right? I need to create the user um, for this new Linux distribution. So let's click on start. Configuring. Let's wait. Yeah, a new window will be shown here. Horizon on WSL2. Welcome to Horizon development environment for WSL2. First, we need to create a new username and password to configure our new Horizon, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Click on let's go. New username. Uh, you put um, Castello and a new password. Let me put some super secret password here. Nice. And then click create user. Configuring. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The system is ready to run the Horizon ID extension. You can now connect to the Horizon WSL2 using the WSL station. If you want to connect now, click on connect the button, right? So very uh, easy to you configure everything. The wizard guide us and configure and install everything, right? System verif verified, WSL2 installed. The Linux distribution Horizon WSL based on Debian Bookworm installed and configured and now I can go directly to the Linux side, right? To the WSL side, clicking on connect to WSL. So now you can see that we have the Visual Studio Code connected on WSL to Horizon and I can run. Uh, the extension, I can click on the icon because now this will activate the extension, you will start the scanning of the Horizon devices that I have on my network. So let's see if this will uh, see my device that I have here on my network. Yeah, you can see I have a Raspberry Bear Pi here, right? So let's connect on the Raspberry Bear Pi using Horizon to Horizon. Trying to connect. Connected. Nice. So I have a device connected. And now let's create a new Horizon project. Right? What kind of project I will create? Let's create a, yeah, let's create a new Python console application. Right? Um, test. My container name will be also test and then you create on the 
hoot of my home uh, directory. Let's create the project. Nice. Now done. Um, I wanted to trust this. Yes, I want to trust. Okay. Let me close this one. Do we want to check? Oh yeah, it's running uh, the configuration of the network under WSL. Okay. Uh, there is no open template documentation, no problem. Uh, do you want to install the recommended Python extensions? Yes. There is more one check for dependencies, yes. So I don't have the Python installed. Let me install. Yeah, I have to put my super secret password. Yeah, because I don't have the Python installed, right? Oh. Now, okay, so Python packages being installed. Okay, all packages for this project, all dependencies for this specific project installed. So let's continue down here. The development of the project, right? Uh, let's open here the main pie. Yeah, and let's put breakpoint here, right? Let's set my Raspberry Pi as the full device. I will use this device target for our remote deploy. Done. And then I can go to Horizon Arm VA and run and debug. Cool. So now you can see how it's easy to you uh, install everything, configure everything. We cover end to end, right? From the installation to first remote deploy remote the book right it's running there on my raspberry pi under uh, hello horizon right i have the container uh deployer there and is running right very cool so yeah that's it guys that i want to show to you today um thanks a lot to stay with me uh until now the end of the video so i hope that you also like this content and like the tea um, pass through all the steps of the configuration for the Horizon ID installation wizard for Windows. Let me know what you think about this feature here on the comments of the video. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? Like also um, at the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive um, the new videos about Horizon. Okay, so see you on the next video.